All right, we're here uh, for doing a little lab for honors physics. Um, it's just going to be a little bit easier for this lab. It's one that you can try at home with materials from home. But it's nice to have someone kind of explain you through uh, the steps. Um, there's a couple things that are a little bit picky about it, and so I want to share that with you. It's easier to see in kind of with me moving around in three dimensions rather than uh, in a you know still picture. Uh, so here we go. So what you need for this lab, okay, really straightforward. Uh, the first thing you need is a spool of scotch tape. Okay, and you know, it doesn't have to be Scotch brand, although I know this works well. Um, anyway, so it's just, you know, your transparent tape. One side is not sticky and one side is sticky, right, sort of thing. All right, so you're going to need some tape. You're going to need two little pieces of paper. Um, the instructions tell you, uh, and two little strips of aluminum foil. Um, so, you know, two and two. Uh, I think the instructions tell you to make these uh, 10 centimeters long, and that seems to be a good length. 10 centimeters for about four inches for you non-metric types. Uh, but yeah, um, you know, about, about four centimeters long seems to work really well. Uh, four, four inches, 10 centimeters seems to work really well. So you got these four little strips then, right? Two aluminum foil, two of paper. Okay, got it. Okay, now let me show you what to do here. Um, what you're going to do is we're going to start off by making a tape sandwich. We're actually going to make two tape sandwiches. Here's how that works. I'm going to take my, uh, my, my piece of tape. I'm going to pull off a strip, again, about the same length as the uh, foil and the paper, about 10 centimeters, roughly. It's okay. Um, and I'm going to, now watch, I'm going to take it and I'm going to fold over the end and tape it to itself there. So it's stuck there. So now I have a non-sticky handle that I can, I can move it around with without having to worry about being stuck to my hand. Okay, now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go ahead and I'm going to put that, press that down to the table like so. So you see, I've got that non-sticky handle. I'll be able to pull it, peel it off later. See, that was kind of, that's kind of like the trick to that, right? Okay. All right. So I've got that. Um, what I'm going to do, I'm going to make another, now, now what I'm going to do, it would be a good, good idea if I labeled this so I can tell my different strips apart. So this is my bottom or base tape. So on the handle, I'm going to label B for bottom, B for base tape, so I'll know. Okay, next, I'm going to make another strip like that. Here we go, about 10 centimeters. Fold over the end to make a non-sticky handle. Okay, now this one, I'm going to tape it down on top of this one, but going the other way. And I want the end of this to not be on top of this handle. I want it to start like in front of the handle. So I'm going to tape it down so it's on top of that other tape like that. And see, I press it down. So now it's got a handle going the other way. All right. I'm going to label this one M because this is the middle tape in my tape sandwich. Okay. I know it looks like a W to me. To me, it's an M though. Okay. Middle tape. I'm going to do one more. You saw that, right? Uh, I'm going to do one more. And now I'm going to find the end. All right, there we go. I don't know what made that tape break like that. That's really weird. I just like broke in the middle. All right. <laughs> there we go. All right. Here we go. Like I guess I'm going to make my third tape about 10 centimeters long again. Fold over the end to make a non sticky handle. Okay. This one's going to go the same way as the middle tape did. Okay. Again, I want the end of it to be on top of the end of the base uh, of the middle tape, not onto the handle of the base tape, if I can help it. So I'm going to try to line it up like so. Oh, uh, look at that. Beautiful. Beautiful. Okay, and that's the top tape. So I'm going to table that, label that T for top tape. So there we go. So I've got my base tape handle here, and i got my top and middle tapes handles on the same end here like this. All right. You ready? You're going to do another one of those sandwiches. Okay. We're not going to need it for, for a few minutes, but we're going to set it up over here, okay? So real quick, bam, fold over the end, 
put it down, label that B for base tape. I could have done a better job on that. Bam, maybe this one's gonna be a little bit short. I'm gonna tape that down so that's not on the handle. There we go. I'm gonna label that M for middle tape. And then one more. Fold over the end. Have the handle on the same side as the middle tape handle. Have it start so that it's starting on the, not on the handle of the base tape. There we go. Let's push it down with my finger. Label this T for top tape. There we go. Okay, got two sets. And I got my four foils. Okay. Now, here's what we're going to do. What I'm going to do, I'm going to actually switch camera views, okay, so that you can see this uh, better. Because the action is going to be happening on the side of the table now instead of the top of the table. So hang on uh, whilst I move my camera. Hmm. Am I really going to try to do this without in the middle of the, the stream instead of uh, stopping? Yeah, I am. Am I not? Am I going to get it to not work? That's correct. It's not going to work. Because, oh no! Look at that! Look at that! Look at that! Look at this! Look at this! That's going to be perfect. Awesome. Okay, so here I am. All right. Now, yeah, it would be great if it was a little bit higher. I'm going to risk it. Yeah, look at this. Okay, I'm not going to risk it because I just did it the wrong way. Whoops. You know, ready, tidy, lefty, loosey, Dave. Here we go. That's better. That's perfect. There we go. That was perfect. It can be perfect again. There we go. All right. So here we go. There's my two tape sandwiches. You can see them now, right? Okay. So here's what I'm going to do. First of all, I've got two pieces of foil, two pieces of paper, right? I'm going to take just a couple little tiny little bits, and I'm just going to tape those to the edge of the table. Now, I'm going to tape them down here. So that they're hanging in space. Okay. Make sense? So that piece of paper is out here in space. It's free to move around if it wishes. Okay. I'm going to do the same thing. Take a little tiny piece of tape. I'm going to take one of the pieces of foil. Okay. There. So that, again, it's free to move in space if it so wishes. All right. There we go. Right. Okay, now I'm going to go ahead. Now here, now, now we get to the tricky part, okay? And this is going to sound very like hocus pocus, mystic. Uh, why am I doing it this way? Just bear with me. So it's important how you peel these off, all right? So let's take this first sandwich here. Notice how we had the T tape and the M tape, and we made the handles on the same end? So I'm going to grab from the M tape from, the, from there, right? And I'm going to grab the M tape handle, and I'm going to slowly... Peel, 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 peel. I'm going to get M and T together, see? I'm going to slowly peel them off the base tape like that. Now I've got the two tapes here, right? I've got two handles. Now I quickly, listen, zip, and pull them apart. They are now electrostatically charged, okay? I'm going to hang. Now, so you see how I'm going to do this? Remember, it's got a side that's sticky. That's away from my hand right now. I'm going to put this here. Like that. Oops. Dang it. I mean here. Ah. Here like this. Ah. Here like this. Okay. There's the T-tape. And then here's the M-tape. Okay. And you see how they're hanging out in space? Okay. So they're free to move back and forth if they wish. Okay. And I'm just using the fact the sticky side is facing away from me because I'm using the sticky to hold it to the table. Have that, right? There we go. Great. This is the setup. I got a T tape. I got an M tape. I got a paper. I got a foil. T M P F. Okay. Up here, I have a piece of foil. 
I have a piece of paper and I have another set. I'm going to prepare the other set the same way. I'm going to grab from the middle tape when the time comes. I'm not going to do it yet, but I'll grab from the middle tape, slowly peel the two off together, and then quickly separate them. And I'll have two more tapes. Okay, T and M tapes. Okay, but first, what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to run through and I'm going to check for interactions with these four tapes that are hanging there, four pieces of four items hanging there. And I'm going to run through one at a time, bring the foil by each of them and check for interactions and then check the paper by each of them and check for interactions. And when I do this, I'm holding it like parallel to it like this and I'm checking them to bring them close to see if they attract or repel, if they attract strongly or weakly or repel strongly or weakly, or if there's no effect. So there's five options here. Attract strongly, attract weakly, repel weakly, repel strongly, and no effect. Okay. And so I'm going to run the paper by each of them and record my results. I'm going to run the foil by each of the four, checking for interactions and, and record my results. And then I'm going to separate these, right? And I'm going to bring the M tape by each and then run the T tape by each. Now it's important when you do this with the tapes, hang on a second, slowly peel off holding the M tape and then separate M and T quickly. It's important that I do not put the sticky side towards these things because if they attract in, then they stick to the sticky side and you got to make sure you screw everything up. You don't want these to actually get stuck to anything. So when I bring a tape near, I always keep track which side's the sticky side and I bring the non-sticky side near. Okay. Which means I actually have to kind of turn it around and bring it near. Okay. And when I'm comparing things to each other, uh, Like I said, I am bringing them near to the one that's hanging there. And what it's going to look like, it's going to look like this. There's one hanging and I bring it in kind of parallel and bring it close and see if they want to attract or repel each other. And I'm looking to see it kind of bend towards or bend away, right? Okay. Attract or repel. Okay. Once in it, and I know that you're thinking right now, how can I tell if it's a strong attraction or a weak attraction or a strong repulsion or a weak repulsion? How can I tell the difference? Um, after you've done a few, you'll kind of get the feel for which ones were strong, which ones were weak. Make sense? Um, but that's it. And you're filling out that grid. Um, that's the idea. Um, Mr. Wishway wants me to show you, uh, what I need to point out is these tapes, you might have noticed that I tried as once you pull them apart, pull them and you separate them, you try not, you try to handle the tapes as little as possible. Only to hold, touch them by the handles, right? Because you don't want to wipe any charge off or, or mess up the charge on them. Okay, so I try as, as little as possible not to touch the business ends of these tapes. Okay, so I don't want to screw that up. Um, what Mr. Wishway wants me to show you is that you can sort of reset the tapes or recharge the tapes. Um, I think his words were. Reset the magic, I think is what he said, or do the magic, yeah. Um, and uh, the idea is that if you have your tapes, you still have my, I still have my base tapes down here. He's saying that basically you can just go ahead and reset it again. Put your middle tape back down on your base tape if you need to. And then put your top tape back down on the middle tape. Okay, make sure you got good contact. Grab the middle tape, slowly peel off, and then quick zip, separate them, and you've reset them again, and they can be used again. Okay, is his point. So if you handle them by accident, you know, whatever, they get stuck to something, you gotta peel them off, whatever, you can reset them by doing the procedure again. All right, that's it. All right, give this a shot. Um, record your data in that chart, because it's nice and organized then, that grid, that four by four grid. And then you can go ahead and look for patterns in your observations. Okay, thanks.